DeAndre Cortez Way, which, believe it or not, is one of the more normal names out there in the rap game, also known as Soulja Boy, is a rapper and a, a millionaire with an official net worth of 30 million dollars. I mean, he didn't gain most of that from rapping, but it still makes him one of the richest rappers in the game, which, oh, that really brightens my day up. He came up off the huge success of his single Crank That and his first album, SoldierBoyTellHim.com, which is a great album name and was also very successful. To this date, he has released five studio albums and to prepare for this video, I listened to three of them. Those were I, Soldier Boy Tell Him, Loyalty and Better Late Than Never. To Today, we will be asking the question, is Soldier Boy one of the worst rappers in the game? So turn your swag on and get ready for this episode. And as always, we're gonna start off by talking about his voice and his delivery. Now, if you've ever heard Soldier Boy before, I think the first thing that will probably strike you is his lethargic sound and lack of any energy at all. His voice feels like the audio equivalent of an unenthusiastic handjob that thinks it's really good. Listen to Turn My Swag On and don't let that hate beat fool you. He sounds bored as he can be. The way he drags out the syllables is horrible, it cuts right through my soul. He doesn't really mumble on his songs, but he slurs his words so much he might as well be saying anything. I don't know how he manages to slur because in a lot of his music he just kind of loudly talks to deliver his lyrics. Here's an example from the song Birdwalk. so loud and he still can't pronounce words somehow. It's better than a zero energy delivery, but it's still pretty damn annoying to listen to. Oh, but don't worry, Soldier's delivery just got even worse over his career. His voice on day one doesn't suddenly strike me as unbearable and terrible like his other music, but rather it's just such a cheap copy paste of the autotune sound, with him trying his best to make young thug ad-lib sounds in the background of it. Baby, I'm so nice to you. Baby, I just splurge on you. I just pull up in in the cool pillow pick you up in the cool hop out the rivalry and then we do baby you know what I do to you Nowadays, Soulja just seems to copy every single popular style overall that's literally all you need to know about Soulja's magnificent flow and delivery. He either is pointlessly loud and obnoxious, or he's just copying every other rapper's sound and doing it worse, no less. I'll give him a 1 out of 10 for effort, I guess. His accent isn't necessarily a bad one for rapping in, but I definitely feel like he cannot utilize his voice at all, and that he fails to make almost any of his tracks interesting through his voice alone. Now part 2, we're going to be analyzing his flow. Now as for his flows, you may remember me saying that he copies every Every other rapper's sound with his voice. And well, what do you know? He copies every other popular rap flow out there right now. The one redeeming quality here is that some of the flows he copies are good, but he still doesn't put any original spin on them whatsoever, so is that even a positive? He bites a flow very similar to Future's kind of broken up flow on Karate Chop in his song Hurricane, which is a very standard rap flow. Cashed out, up on Audi Diamond. Uh, hey, will, 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 Hurricane. Will Look, damn, I just copped a belly with a brand new paint. Or take I just broke my wrist, which quite clearly uses what's dubbed as the Migos flow. Hey, zone one, you know we the shit. Hey, west side of my click. Hey, you run a little soldier get hit. Hey, I'm running around town with no brick. Hey, you know that I'm fucking your bitch. I'm back in this shit. It's honestly hard to find any examples where his flow stands out or at least has some semblance of being his own style. You'd really have to go back to earlier in his career to find anything that comes close to a unique cadence. I guess the most interesting flow he uses is on the incredibly weird and just awkward track called Hey You There. It's terrible, but it's somewhat unique in its weirdness. Come here, I want you to come here. One time. Please, sir, please, hey, you there. You there. I see you over there. Hey. I see you everywhere. Also, even though the flow on Turn My Swag On is incredibly grating and ear piercing, I have to admit, somehow he managed to make it catchy. I guess that's why the song is so more than a million copies. Oh dear god, why? 
So yeah, a bit of a shorter segment here because I can't say much on someone who is essentially a no-flow. Now this isn't an insanely massive issue when he uses flows that will be catchy no matter who spits them, but most of the time he somehow manages to copy the least energetic flows in hip-hop. Some of his flows on the album I Soldier Boy Tell Him were better, but only enough for him to get a 2 out of 10 on flow. We're only 2 segments in and I'm genuinely questioning how this man built a fan base. Now for part 3, it's always the fun part of these videos, we're going to be looking at his lyrics. Now I've called out some rappers for having very generic and standard rap lyrics that really take no creativity to come up with, but I did not know what zero creativity meant until I heard Soulja Boy's music. You're probably not surprised when I tell you, Soulja completely, absolutely, no doubt sucks terribly in the lyrics department. I could eat alphabetti spaghetti in shit better rhymes than what Soulja Boy comes out with. With. I knew his album I Soldier Boy Tell Him was gonna be a true lyrical gold mine when it started with insane lyrics like these. Wow, so much content to analyze there. Then I knew his next album I listened to, Loyalty, was gonna be just the absolute peak of wordsmith ability when it started with this. Hurricane, will, 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 hurricane. Will, 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 hurricane, hurricane, will, will. How does he even come up with these lyrics? It's insane. And then of course, I didn't even question that Better Late Than Never would have lyrics to rival King Kendrick when it started with this. Do you see the pattern here? Sarcastic statements aside, Soldier Boy has never said one thought-provoking, funny, smart, or complex line in his whole career. I'm honestly baffled by it. You know what made me laugh though? On Do What I Want, he says, <laughs> They tried to cover my flow. My flow. Hey. Who tries to copy your flow? As mentioned before, you don't have a flow to copy. You're the one stealing from everyone else. I genuinely thought lyrics couldn't go weaker than Kodak Black, who I gave a 1 out of 10. But Soldier, he managed. Kodak occasionally made me giggle at how stupid his lines are. Soldier Boy makes me really upset at how run of the mill his words are. I never thought this series would come to this point, but Soldier Boy, you have just scored the very first 0 out of 10 in this series. I didn't think it was possible, guys. A 0 out of 10 signifies nothing of value within lyrics. It signifies a rapper not even trying to break the mold even a little. It signifies laziness from someone who is already a multi-millionaire, so who cares what he's saying, right? And part four, we're gonna be looking at his beat selection. Beat selection is commonly the segment where rappers in the series redeem themselves and score a bit higher than they would have otherwise. Not always, but most of the time it's the beats that save them. <laughs> not Soldier Boy. Okay, maybe I'm being a bit harsh, because not all his production is bad, actually, far from it. But all the beats on I Soldier Boy tell him, with the exception of Kiss Me Through The Phone are awful, loud, abrasive garbage. Take Gucci Bandana as an example, which has a low-pitched, off-key piano as the main instrument, and it just sounds really cheap and unpolished. Then there's Booty Got Swag, which has kicks so loud that it honestly makes me recoil every time they hit. Just reduce the decibels on those and it would sound much better. However, it's not all bad. While he does pick fairly standard rap production in his more recent albums, it's simple but catchier production and I don't mind it as much. For example, Day One has a very nice laid back beat that sounds like something you could just cruise to. It's definitely a huge improvement, and there's a lot of good beats on his 2015 and 2016 albums. Another nice one is the bassy Drophead Phantom, which features <laughs> someone called Wanky Go. Laughing at that name provided 90% of my enjoyment from this album. However, it's not all good on his more modern albums. Trap Party has one of the worst beats I have heard this year, perhaps even in the past five years, with a really annoying high-pitched build-up sound that just does not go away. Welcome to my trap party. Call all the girls we at the trap party. Welcome, 
Tell me that's not the most unappealing thing you've ever heard. If you're curious, by the way, that sound remains there for the whole entire goddamn song. So his beats are an improvement overall, but nothing special. And his score is gonna get drastically dragged down for the production on I Sold You By Tell Em and some of the production on Loyalty. I think four out of 10 is a fair score for him here. And now we're at the final part where I'll be telling you guys how much I enjoyed Soldier Boy's music as a whole. Okay, you guys probably see where this segment is going, so I'm gonna make it a short one. So, for this wonderful learning experience, I listened to three full Soldier Boy albums, which you should do too if you don't value your time or your ears. These albums were I, Soldier Boy, Tell Em, Loyalty, and Better Late Than Never, as I said in the intro. Now, I disagree with that title, Better Late Than Never. When it comes to Soldier Boy, never is better than late, but regardless, Regardless, let's discuss these very quickly. As you can gather from what I've said already, I Soldier Boy Tell Em was an album with terrible beats and awful delivery and was only slightly saved by a couple of catchy songs. The standout here for me was Kiss Me Through the Phone, but mainly for the catchy hook from Sammy. This was my least favourite out of the three. Then Loyalty was the second worst, with much better beats despite a few terrible examples. However, Soldier completely lost anything resembling charisma or energy on this album, and it really doesn't have much of value at all within it. And then that leaves Better Late Than Never, which isn't the best out of the three in my mind, it's just the third worst. All I can say for this one is it's not good, but it has the best beats out of the three, and definitely some of Soldier's catchier songs, such as the autotune smothered Hold Me Down. There's really not much I can say here. As you can tell, this was a pretty torturous experience for me, and I'm genuinely surprised at how low rap can sink. This gets a 1 out of 10, literally only for the occasional catchy songs. I cannot lie to you guys and tell you I enjoyed it any more than that. So that brings us to the overall verdict, which you've probably predicted by now. And part six, my overall verdict and ranking of Soldier Boy, among the other rappers that I've done in this series. Well, looks like we've done it again for the second episode in a row. XXX Tentacle Porn fans rejoice as Soldier Boy has scored a grand total of nine out of 50 here, making him the new worst rapper in the game that I've ever heard so far. You see, you see, XXX Tentacium was kind, I don't care how you say it, was kind of like an acquired taste that I just didn't really like at all, and he did lack some skill in a lot of areas, but I don't understand how Soldier's music appeals to anyone on this earth. I genuinely never thought I'd have such a painful listening experience in my life, guys, but I wanted to tap out when listening to these albums so damn bad. I'll genuinely be surprised if there were any Soldier fans in the comments because I just cannot see how this music gains fans. He is below Kodak for me, below Designer, Future, XXXTentacion, uh, who else, Kodak. He is below everyone on this list. He is number 12. And honestly, Soldier has set the bar so low, who knows if anyone else will ever take the crown as the worst rapper in the game from him. And you can see the full worst rappers in the game list in the description below. Well guys, that is going to be it for the video today. I really hope you guys all enjoyed this one, and if you did, please leave a like, share the video to get it out there, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. This is a series that I do occasionally. I try to get it out as frequently as possible, but it does take a bit longer, and you guys seem to really enjoy this. This is probably, like, your guys' uh, personal favourite series of mine, and... Yeah, let me know any requests you have for rappers you want to see in the series in the comments below. Also, I'd really appreciate if you could follow me on Twitter under the handle at CDTV Productions. And that's all I've got to say for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I honestly don't see this one getting that many dislikes because I don't know how big of a fan base Soldier Boy has today, but I imagine it can't be that huge. Oh well, who knows? With all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. And this is CDTV. TV Productions, signing out.